we are going to see migration of data from Terra data to Snowflake. The requirement uh, for data migration are you need a S3 CMD tool which is installed on your Linux system. Then a robo query which is uh, used for schema conversion. And then you need uh, one AWS account. Means uh, we are using S3 uh, bucket as our staging area. So these uh, all are requirement uh, for migrating the data from Terra data to Snowflake. So let's start. Firstly, uh, you need to install the Vantage Express on your virtual machine. And uh, then uh, you need to install the Terra data database on your Vantage Express. So this is a UI of Vantage Express. And here I have installed the Terra data database. So before starting, uh, you need to uh, start uh, your Terra data server by just uh, click on this genome terminal. Then here uh, you need to type this command that is slash etc slash init dot t slash tpa and hyphen and then start. With the help of uh, this uh, command, you can connect uh, to your Teradata database. Then uh, take the state of your running server by using pde state and hyphen a. Here you can see that uh, our Teradata server is uh, running. Then by using the BTEQ, that is the basic Teradata query, you can query the Teradata database. Then uh, you need to provide uh, your IP address and uh, the password. I have used uh, the local host here. Now here you can see that we have successfully connected uh, to our uh, Teradata server. Then uh, you have to open your Teradata studio. In that uh, Teradata studio here you can see that uh, there are some connections like uh, the new Teradata Snowflake and a Snowflake connection. So you have to firstly uh, create a connection to your Teradata database, Teradata server. Uh, for that, uh, here you, you need to select the Teradata and then click on next and uh, you need to provide the server name which we have already uh, given into that genome terminal. Then you have to provide the username and password and then click on next and then click on finish. So with the, uh, I have already uh, created one connection that is a Snowflake connection. In that Snowflake connection, you can see that uh, one user, that is a DBC. Uh, it has a, only one user uh, DBC in that uh, connection because whenever uh, you have installed this Teradata Express Studio, the DBC is a by default role. Uh, from DBC, uh, you can uh, create the future databases and users in the system. So in that DBC, uh, you can see that uh, I have one database that is a sales database. In that sales database, I have loaded some table by, by using the fast load option. You have to uh, simply click, right click on tables and then click on data transfer and Then uh, here you have to uh, select the file which you have to be loaded into your uh, Teradata database table. And uh, suppose we have selected here the sales, then click on open and then click on next and click on finish. I have already uh, loaded uh, data that is a sales data on my Teradata database. You can query that data by just right click on that table and then click on sample content. Here you can see that uh, this is a record which is available on that sales table. 
now our aim is to migrate this data to snowflake so i have uh, write down this uh, query for creating the databases uh, in my uh, terra data terra data this is a query that is a create database and a database name from a user and is uh, from user name as uh, i have provide some size that is permanent pool and temporary and account is dbc then i have uh, created one table that is a, a sales table now uh, i have generate some ddl uh, for that sales table and uh, i have copy that uh, script and uh, then i have open my uh, robo query with the help of robo query we can convert that terra data this terra data script uh, to a snowflake script so click on uh, firefox and then here uh, you have to search for robo query and uh, here you have to paste that all code which uh, you have copy from your terra data express then click on convert here you can see that uh, we have successfully convert that uh, terra data script to snowflake script then you have to copy that uh, copy this script and paste that uh, script on your snowflake account so here uh, in snowflake account i have created one database that is terra data database and also i have created a table that is a sales table this is a script which uh, we have uh, copy earlier and i have pasted here then i have create one staging area means uh, whenever the files are that is a terra data uh, files the csv files which are available on our staging area then with the help of this staging area uh, we can load that file into our uh, snowflake database table so here i have created one uh, staging area and i have provide uh, the url of my s3 bucket then provide the credentials here that is aws key id and aws secret key so uh, this aws key id and uh, secret key is in our uh, aws account uh, in aws account you need to click on your username and then click on my security credential in that uh, security uh, credential you have to click on access key and uh, here is an option that is a create new access key so with the help of this uh, you can uh, get all the your access key and secret key then go to s3 bucket here uh, i have created a uh, three buckets so i have used uh, this terra data snowflake bucket to load all our files here uh, already i have loaded one file that is a sales uh, csv dot csv then i have create one file format means uh, whatever the files uh, whatever the data means the data which is coming from our terra data to snowflake so the file format uh, we need to recognize the file format for that i have created the file format now we will uh, check the which type of uh, data we are going to load so go to our uh, terra data studio and uh, here you can see that this is the data which uh, i am going to uh, migrate to our snowflake account so you have to query that data by just uh, right click on that data Uh, table and click on data and click on sample contents then you need to uh, save that uh, result here you have to select the directory name and then you need to provide a file name that is the sales in the scope terra data dot csv and then you have to select the extension that is a csv then output encoding that is utf8 and click on okay now here you can see that this is a file that is sales underscore terra data which is available on our uh, linux system means our local uh, linux local file system of our linux 
now we will take that sales underscore terra data file is available on our local system or not go to our genome terminal here you can check that file is available or not by using ls so the file is available on sql folder so here you can see that the sales underscore teradata dot csv file which is available on our system now our aim is to migrate this file means we have to transfer this file to our s3 bucket for that uh, we use s3 cmd so you can uh, use s3 uh, this command that is s3 cmd and then space ls with the help of this command you can list out all the buckets which are available on our s3 so we have to use uh, this teradata snowflake and we have we are going to uh, upload our sales underscore teradata dot csv file to this uh, teradata snowflake bucket for that you need to write down this uh, command that is s3 cmd then uh, put and the file name that is sales sales underscore teradata dot csv and then provide s3 bucket name which we are going to use tera data snowflake now here we can see that we have successfully loaded that file on our uh, yes on our s3 bucket now we will check that file is available or not we can check uh, from here and also from ui we will check it from ui file is available or not so here you can see that uh, the file is uh, available on our s3 bucket now we are going to our uh, now we are uh, open our uh, snowflake account and here we have created uh, one pipe snow pipe it means uh, the use of snow pipe is whenever the files are uh, the files are available on our uh, staging area it will automatically loaded that files into our uh, snowflake database tables so i have created one pipe that is sales pipe in that uh, sales pipe i have used uh, one table uh, that is a sales table and here i have provided a, a staging area name that is sales stage then I have specified the file format, the sales underscore CSV. Here uh, we can check the pipe by using the show pipes. And uh, then I have copied the ARN of our Teradata database. This is the ARN, that is a notification channel means whenever the data is available means whenever the files is available on our staging area uh, the notification will be generated and uh, it will uh, notify our uh, a snow pipe that the file is available on our uh, staging area so you need to just copy this arn number and uh, paste that arn number uh, into your SQS event. So basically, SQS event is a simple queue service uh, which is notify your snow pipe that files is available on our external staging area. So here I have created one event uh, that is SQS event, and in that SQS event I have pasted a uh, ARN number. So everything is done. Now uh, the file is loaded on our S3 bucket. Now we will check uh, the data is uh, loaded on our uh, Snowflake database tables or not. You can check uh, the status of that pipe. And here you can see that the pipe is uh, running. 
the everything is done now we will check the data is loaded or not so here you can see that the data is loaded because uh, i have uploaded the two files uh, you know on our uh, s3 bucket so there are 200 rows means uh, the two files are same so we have loaded uh, the 200 low uh, 200 uh, rows so we will check uh, the data is successfully loaded or not by using this command that we select count of star from cells so here uh, you can see that the 200 are uh, rows because uh, we have loaded uh, the same file that is a sales and uh, both the files uh, contain the same data as you can see that uh, this file this sales uh, underscore uh, sales underscore teradata dot csv and sales uh, csv so this is these two are same file and we have successfully loaded the data means uh, one file contains the 100 records now we will uh, check the uh, records from our Terra data how many records in our Terra data table by go to your uh, genome terminal and here we need to query that table select star form database name and then table name with the help of count function we can count the records so here you can see that uh, the hundred record means we have successfully loaded uh, we are successfully migrated the data uh, from terra data to snowflake uh, because we have loaded two files and uh, the snow pipe uh, uh, the snow uh, user of snow pipe is to uh, whenever the file are available on our staging area it will automatically load that uh, data